Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about Blip, the service Blip. Um, it's actually a di digital uh, billboard service. Um, they offer really economical solutions to advertise your business or your events or whatever on a digital billboard. Um, and you probably have already read the blog article. So what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly how easy it is um, to use Blip. Um, the back end of Blip and how to set up an ad advertising campaign through Blip. And it's super easy to do. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I also offer uh, graphic design services. Uh, if you guys are looking to have a billboard done, I don't charge anything more than what Blip does. It's $50 um, flat rate for one advertisement. So feel free to contact me and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do these ads. All right. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you log in, you'll, um, you'll come to this page, essentially. Um, I have not set up my payment information through Blip just yet. Uh, this is fresh to me. So um, I'm going to actually skip this part for now. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set up a camp campaign through Blip. When you first uh, sign into Blip, you'll come to this page here, and up in the top right-hand corner, there's going to be a new campaign button. You're going to click on that, <clears throat> and what that'll do is it'll bring up a, a map of all of the Blip locations throughout the United States. Um, I did want to point something out to you guys, though. However, if you see here on, I'm actually located in Pennsylvania. Um, and I know for a fact that there is actually a blip billboard here where I live. It's probably about two or three miles away from where I live. But if I come to this map, I don't see it on here. It just says 25. What you're going to want to do is zoom in really close. And get a better idea of where everything is in your area. So I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So, I'm just going to zoom in to Lancaster, and I see the blip billboard right there. It's that little red dot. I'll zoom in really close so you guys can actually see. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is, just, once you find the billboard you want to advertise on, you're going to click on that little red button, that little red uh, icon, and that, that will bring up... Um, all the information about the particular billboard. So uh, what, what it does is it says uh, on average there's 15,869 average daily views on that billboard. Uh, each The duration of each billboard display is 10 seconds uh, per display and it's uh, it lets you know the location of the um, actual billboard and then more importantly, right here at the bottom, it gives you the actual physical dimensions of the billboard itself, which you're going to need. So this gives you the dimensions of what you're going to um, need to create your art, your art size for. So it's going to be 672 pixels by 216 pixels, the dimensions. So typically what I'll do, and these are all going to be different depending upon what billboard you select. Um, each billboard is going to be different. Even the cost and the views, all, all your information is going to be different. This is just for for the particular billboard that I just selected. So, uh, billboard size is 672 pixels by 216 pixels. Um, you're going to want to create the artwork in PNG or JPEG format at 72 PPI um, pixels per inch. And... One of the things that Blip does say is that you cannot have a pure white background. So no pure white background at all. And I really wouldn't recommend um, having a pure white background. Anyhow, it's not really going to uh, look very nice. Um, you always want to have some a nice bit of col color to add to your advertisement um, to draw people's attention to it. Alright, so... Once I have that information all completed and I have my sign, I'm just going to click add sign. All right.
right? So add sign that you see here, now it's added to the location. I'm gonna click next. Now you could set your daily budget. Uh, how much how much do you want would do you want to spend on your campaign per day? Um, and you can actually, you know, you can even go below twenty dollars per day. I believe you could even do like ten dollars per day. Um, you can set the budget at anything that you want to do. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just set it for ten dollars per day. And uh, you pick your start date. Um, so it takes 24 to 48 hours after you submit your uh, artwork to Blip for them to approve it. So when I select a date, it gives me 5-16-2019, which would be tomorrow, uh, 24 hours from this, this time frame, depending upon if they actually um, uh, accept my artwork. Um, you shouldn't really have a problem as long as there's no offensive content. Um, make sure your, your uh, copy... Any copy on your ad is bold, and uh, it's recommended that you use six words or less. Um, typically, what I'll do is I'll just create like I'll create an uh, an, an image. Uh, I'll have like an image, some copy or text, six words or less, and uh, the URL to my website or t uh, the event information, whatever I'm trying to advertise. All right, so uh, the start date would be tomorrow, and then I'm going to pick this, uh, the end date, let's see, I'll, we'll say three days out. So I'll run this for three days. It would cost me $10 per day for uh, three days. So we'll pick the date of, uh, today's May 15th, we'll say May Uh, we'll run it for three days. So May 19th, it would end on Sunday, May 19th. Now you're, you're probably going to say, well, how many blips am I going to be getting for how many um, impressions or blips am I going to get for $10 a day? The way that you could figure that out is right here. There's a little button that says, how do I pick my budget? If you click on that, it'll take you to a different page. And you can actually put in your daily budget. It's $10 per day. And you'll see here it's automatically checked if I use a mix of both off peak times and peak times. I'll likely get 263 blips per uh, day for that $10. Uh, now, if you want to run it just, just during peak times, you can just click on peak times and it'll say it'll give you 149 uh, displays for that peak time for $10. Off peak times, you can select that, and it's gonna give you 760. Um, for me, I'm gonna pick peak times. And I'll show you how to do that now. So $10 per day um, for three day, a total of consecutive of three days. And I'm gonna click next. And now this is where you're going to select the duration of times and which which time. So if you notice here, um, this light green is five cents. Uh, it's average five cents per blip. Um, and then the the peak times the peak times are like between fifteen and thirty five cents per blip. The darker green ones are going to be like the really peak times. So um, I see like the peak times are 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. for this particular billboard. And it's all going to be different, um, cons um, different according to um, the billboard that you're actually using. So this is for the one that I'm, I'm using. Uh, so we're going to start on Wednesday and we're going to end on Sunday. So what I'm going to do is actually just clear this out completely and I want mine to run during peak times so I'm going to pick 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then I'm going to click next again and then what you'll see here now is is the upload tool to actually upload your artwork so uh, it's giving you the dimensions again my billboard is 672 pixels wide by uh, 216 pixels high and if you click this view example, it'll actually give you a um, downloadable example too.
so I could actually download this save image as <clears throat> should be able to save it maybe not save image as okay maybe it doesn't anyhow uh, those are the dimensions that you'll use to set up your um, your ad in Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever program you're using um, to create your art and then what you'll do is once it's created you're just going to drag and drop your fo uh, file onto to onto this here and click upload and then you'll click next and then once you click next, you'll you'll name your campaign weight name. And usually what I'll do is just call it Lancaster. Uh, since I, I'm doing it in Lancaster. Now, now, you don't have to just stick to your own area. You can actually run billboards wherever. So say, for instance, you have a service like me. I offer graphic design services. I offer web development services. I offer uh, Facebook advertising there's all a bunch of services that I offer, but I can literally offer these services as something that I do from home, and I can offer these services to anybody all over the country. So, you know, I can I don't have to just stick for stick to a billboard locally here in Pennsylvania. I can literally pick from anywhere across the country that I want to run my my um, advertisement. But for now, I'm just going to uh, pick Lancaster. Name it, name it Lancaster PA billboard and then for now I'm just going to save everything as is as a draft um, because I have not put my information in and I did not up, I don't have any upload information or any artwork up, uh, completed or uploaded but what I could do now is just save and close the campaign. And this will actually just save this as a draft for me now. Like it says here, uh, there's a pending start time. Uh, the campaign's not enabled yet. I haven't put in my payment information um, or nothing like that. But I can. it's saved as a draft now. So once I, my artwork is completed and everything's good to go, I can actually change the dates to my time. I can literally go back in and edit anything. Uh, I can edit the daily budget, the start date, end date. Um, you can actually edit the artwork if you want to. If you're not completely happy with the artwork and you want to switch out the artwork in the middle of your campaign, you can do that. It's uh, really pretty cool. So that's it. I wanted to show you guys how incredibly easy Blip is to use. Um, it's super affordable outdoor advertising for your business um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever please feel free to reach out to me uh, through my website um, I'm at www.revolutioncreativemarketing.com I do offer billboard services billboard creation services and I don't charge anything more than what blip does so blip actually if you get your billboard created through blip it would be $50 if you'd like to have it done by me, I'm a professional graphic designer and web developer. I'll do your billboard for the same amount of, amount of money, $50. Um, not, not much more. I, I charge exactly what, what Blip does. Um, I'm leaving a, um, a link below in the comment section. I'm going to put uh, all the information that you need to know. Um, and I'm going to leave a link, link below where you guys can actually use it to uh, sign up to Blip. And I'll put all the information in the bottom to um, some of the, some of the generic information that you'll need to know. All right. Well, have a great day. Thanks for watching. To do these ads. All right.